is a continuation of the previous problem, comparison of molecular speeds in a gas mixture. Consider a gas mixture enclosed in some container and consisting of monatomic molecules of two different masses, M1 and M2. Suppose that this gas mixture is in equilibrium. Use the result of the preceding problem to find the approximate ratio of the average speed V1 of a molecule of mass M1 to the average speed V2 bar of a molecule of mass M2. So we would like to know the ratio of the average speeds. Suppose that the two kinds of molecules are helium and argon which have atomic weights equal to 40 and 4 and 40 respectively. What is the ratio of the average speed of a helium atom to that, that, that of an argon atom? So we have, we have M1 equals 4, M2 equals uh, 40. So let's start with part A. Uh, from the previous problem, uh, we have a conclusion about equilibrium between atoms uh, of different masses. Um, so we can note here from the preceding problem that is problem 1.9 uh, we have found we know that at equilibrium The average energy per atom of the two types of gases must be the same. So if you go back to our final conclusion, epsilon 2 bar was equal to epsilon 1 bar. So for a monatomic gas, epsilon 1 bar, we have 1, 1 over 2 m1 v1 square bar. This must be equal to 1 over 2 m2 v2 square bar so uh, 1 over 2's will cancel and we will find that uh, v1 square bar divided by v2 square bar is m2 divided by m1. Now, since this is an elementary kinetic theory where we can make some assumptions, uh, we can neglect the difference between the mean value squared and squared mean value. So if we neglect the difference, between v squared mean value and v bar squared. So basically we're saying v squared mean value is approximately the same thing as v bar squared. Then we will get uh, the ratio v1 square bar divided by v2 square bar is approximated to be v1 bar squared divided by v2 bar squared and this is equal to m2 over m1 so we will find that uh, 
v1 bar divided by v2 bar the ratio of the average speeds will be approximately square root of m2 divided by m1 So that's the answer to part A of the problem. Now part B is a numerical application. We have the first gas is helium. The second gas is argon. So for the case of a helium argon mixture, we can write M2 divided by M1 is equal to the atomic mass of argon divided by the atomic mass of helium that is the mass of one mole of argon atoms it is 40 grams divided by 4 grams so this ratio is 10 then if we look at the average speed of a helium atom divided by the average speed of an argon atom since it's a uh, square root of m2 over m1 it is uh, approximately square root of mass of argon divided by mass of helium which is square root of 10 so our answer for the case of helium argon mixture for the uh, ratio of the average speeds helium to argon is square root of 10 so uh, we are comparing molecular speeds in a gas mixture we have a gas mixture enclosed in some container which has monatomic molecules of two different masses m1 and m2 and we're assuming equilibrium conditions from the preceding problem we know that this implies the mean energy per atom epsilon 1 bar must be equal to epsilon 2 bar and that means that uh, we have the kinetic energy 1 half m1 v1 square bar is 1 over 2 m2 v2 square bar so 1 over 2's cancel and this really gives us the square of the velocity uh, mean value uh, for the first atom to uh, divided by the second atom is m2 over m1 now i neglect the difference between uh, taking the square and average or uh, taking the average and square so so that they're approximated to be the same thing then i will see that this ratio is uh, square root of m2 over m1 so for the helium argon mixture we have helium atomic weight is 4 argon is 40 so uh, square root of 40 over 4 gives us square root of 10 as the answer for the mean speed of helium divided by mean speed of argon atoms in the mixture